Okay. Close your eyes and envision your future goals. Think about how each of these future goals will affect your quality of life, whether it's a new car, a house, or having a child. Go ahead and open them. According to the Consumer Federation of America, 60 million households in America will fail to meet these major life goals. Why? All because these families lack a comprehensive financial plan. The life you live today can affect you years into the future, and definitely financially, according to FeedThePig.gov. As quality of life is directly correlated with strong money management, it is important to be able to have these objectives when managing your money. Learn how to save, spend, and share money using a financial planning process. Understand economic conditions and risk and situations that could change those finances. Learn how to set financial goals, especially in order to achieve major life goals. There's three ways um, that you can um, use your money. You can either spend it, save it, or share it. These definitions I got from the Florida Institute of International. Um, the definition of spending your money would be on daily expenses um, and recreation, whether it's buying a cup of coffee or filling up your um, car with gas. Um, some major expenses might include your rent, utilities, um, and any miscellaneous costs that might be associated with your lifestyle. Um, according to feedthepig.gov, you should seek to save about 30% of your money. Um, however, for some people who are in college or might have other um, situations going on, that might not be feasible. Um, it's all in order to seek a long-term financial security. And then, of course, you can always share and donate your money to different financial um, organizations around the globe who might be in need. Um, whether that be to a local church or a food bank. Um, it's important to determine your current financial situation. So how you would do that is you would take your monthly income, so for college students that might be pretty minimal, but you would subtract by all your expenses, you know, filling up your car with gas or paying on a student loan. And hopefully that number is positive. And if it is, then you have some investing and saving opportunities. The second um, process would be to develop financial goals. You want them. You want them to be smart, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Um, and consider and evaluate all alternative goals in case you know different situations in your life may come up. And then put your plan in place. Um, and always review and revise your plan. So understanding how different economic and life events can impact your financial situation is probably the most important thing within your financial plan, according to the Security and Exchange Commission. There's different things that may work in your favor, but may also work against you in your future finances. Inflation is a general rise of prices of about 2% per year. There's also um, consumer spending that may affect job and income potential. This is important because if people aren't spending money, people aren't making money. And that means jobs might be um, vacant and other sorts of things. Interest rates is basically the cost to borrow money, but also the money that may be returned on one of your investments. These definitions were taken from moneychoice.org. Choice it's also important to understand interest rates. The most common interest rate that um, consumers deal with today is um, a future earnings compounding interest formula. It takes the principal value <coughs> and you add the value of the interest rate as a decimal to one, and then you uh, take it as an exponent times the number of years times the number of compounds per year. So for example, if you had $500 that you wanted to invest at 5%, you take 500 times 1.05, 
and then you would take that to the power of 12 if you were to invest it for one year, compounding at 12 times per year, once per month. There's other considerations to consider um, when dealing with risk investment. Consider whether you're going to be having a child in the future, whether you will be dependent on your parents or not. Consider what um, student loan debt you may be graduating with. Um, whether it's 30000 which is the average according to financialaid.gov, or whether you see a career change in your future. And always consider your health and um, consider getting death insurance, life insurance, um, and they even have different types of disability insurance that you may want to consider. <coughs> this all makes up kind of the goal guidelines, which is have a budget, think smart, um, stay diverse when investing, um, always create a plan and think ahead, and seek help through financial institutions if you're ever confused about different investment or personal finance opportunities. <coughs> so you should always spend and seek um, Spend and save wisely, excuse me. Um, create a plan and know the risks and seek long-term goals that you can follow through with. Um, and this will all create a more successful, productive view and which allows you to uh, conquer all your long-term goals in life. Thank you.